Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a watch me work. For this video, I'll be creating this design. This is something that's really quick and easy as well as something that's gonna be salon ready and you can use any colors for and it's gonna be perfect on clients. Like in all my videos, everything I use today will be linked below. But if you have any questions, please let me know. Let's begin. So I'm going to start by having my freshly applied plain clean quick tip. I'm then just going to buff this to make it nice and smooth ready for our design. For this I'm going to be using the 100 buffer side of this 180 100 buffer slash file from SNA. For the base of this design, I'm going to go in with a sheer nude. I'm going to apply two layers of this so it is sheer but not too translucent. You can use any colour of sheer nude, you could use a solid nude, it's just something for our design to go over so whatever your preference is you can use. To make sure the rest of our design goes smoothly, I'm going to top coat when I'm happy with my base colour. This will help with the later stages as we are going to be using loose pigments. You want to make sure this is a tack free top coat so it is nice and smooth and glossy when we are finished. Once I'm happy with my base and it is top coated, I'm then going to go in with this SNA A Touch of Detail Fine Liner brush and I'm going to be going in with a white gel to draw my design. It's really important that you use a white gel that is going to leave a tacky layer. This will help the pigments to stick when we are going to go in with the colour. You can draw any design you wish for this look. I've just gone in with some abstract lines. When you are happy with this, you want to cure it, but once again, make sure it leaves a tacky layer. I'm then going to pick up some loose neon pigments and I'm going to press this into the tacky layer of the white. I'm going to be doing an ombre look, so I'm doing each color in different sections. I'm going to drop some of the loose pigment that I've picked up onto the tissue and then blend the edges slightly so we get a nice ombre finish. Once you're happy with your first colour, you are then going to go in with your second colour. I've chosen to use orange. I'm going to place this just under the yellow, leaving a small gap so then we can blend the colours together nicely.
then going to go in with my final colour, but starting at the very end, so then when the colours meet, we can blend them together nicely. Once you are happy with your colours and how blended they are and where they are placed, we are then going to use a fluffy brush to dust off all the excess pigment. Once the design is nice and clean, you are then going to top coat it. I would top coat twice for this design on a client, just to make sure the pigments are nice and secure in the design. for watching my video i really hope you enjoyed watching me work so you could see how quick some designs are how versatile some designs are and how you can adapt things for a salon environment as in all my videos everything will be linked down below but if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask them and i will see you in my next video bye